For the next 24 hours, I have to find every bird possible. We should do all right, unless a polar vortex comes in. It's midnight. The clock is running. The World Series of Birding is underway. University of Maine, it's 1 a.m. Three birds so far, Sora, Swamp Sparrow, and Common Loon. Oh, four. Uh, we had the American Woodcock. It's two in the morning. It's raining. The wind is starting to come up. And the owls, of course, in this condition, dead silent. Officially, it's 2.10 in the morning. Finally, barred owl. At least one over that way. So if you're wondering what time did the rain turn over to snow in Old Town, on May 9th, it was 3.25 a.m. This is almost cheating, but right behind me is the kiosk for Ash Landing, Sun Caves Meadows National Wildlife Refuge. It's got a roof, and so I'm thinking to myself, there has got to be an Eastern Phoebe nesting under there. And there is. It's almost cheating. So it's four in the morning. That makes our sixth bird. We've been at this since midnight. After four hours, we've only got six. Oh, there's bird number seven. A white-throated sparrow is singing at four in the morning. It's quarter of five in the morning. Now things are starting to liven up a little bit. Still raining. The snow has stopped a bit. Uh, the wind isn't too bad yet. Uh, behind me, um, the peent of an uh, American woodcock. There was a whippoorwill just over the rise there. Swamp sparrow, white-throated sparrow, American robin. Oh, Ben Hermit Thrush. Okay, heard an American bittern. Oh, by the way, um, I've identified maybe a dozen birds so far in this uh, birdathon, this World Series of birding, and I have yet to see a bird. So that's one of the rules. If you can positively identify it by ear, it counts. Oh, 6 a.m., and there's a yellow rump warbler just calling over there. It's not singing yet. But that makes five warblers over the last stretch that we just put on the list. Northern Perula, black and white, Nashville warbler, and a northern water thrush. So it's a slow, quiet dawn chorus, but it is there. Worst timing ever. Who does a birdathon this early in May? Well, New Jersey does because all the migrants are coming through right there at this point. And in fact, today is International Migratory Bird Day. So they pick that date. It suits them. When Maine tries to compete this early, this is what you get. It's 7 in the morning. The sun's a little higher. Not that we'll ever see it today. But at least the snow is a lot heavier. Just wrapped up the 6 o'clock hour. On a typical day, we might have put 30, even 40 different species of birds on the list. So far in the last hour, four. I don't know why, but the black flies are surprisingly mild today. Sun Caves Meadows National Wildlife Refuge. This is the entrance to Oak Point Trail. It's a great trail. Its marketing slogan is, come for the mud, stay for the bugs. It's eight in the morning. We've been at this for eight hours. How's it going so far? Don't ask. I wonder if that's slippery. What could possibly go wrong? It's Mother's Day weekend. Traditionally, this is when all the hummingbirds come back in the eastern Maine to take advantage of the spring flowers and all the warm weather. So I'm at Bangor City Forest. It's 11 a.m. So far, I think I'm at 48 species here, and the whole Maine Audubon team is over 100 now. So under these conditions, we're not doing horrible, but we're not doing great. This must be what it's like to live in a snow globe. Still snowing, still blowing, still cold. It's 1.30, and I'm at Essex Woods at the Drew Lane entrance. Wish me luck, because once I clear these bushes, the wind is going to kill me. Well, the good news is the snow has stopped falling. Now it's blowing sideways. Even the porcupine is irritated. And the snowshoe hares are regretting going brown. It's 8 o'clock. I've been at this for 20 straight hours. The World Series of Birding is coming to a close, hopefully successfully. Um, I'm over 60 birds myself. Uh, the team, I think, is closing in on 140 
for the day. And with the weather conditions we've had, that's pretty good. If we were out to showcase what kind of good birds Maine has, to get a number like that under conditions this bad, that's pretty impressive.